Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. Today we're in the Gospel of Mark chapter 11, and we're continuing to look at verses that talk about faith. And here Jesus is talking to his disciples. Um, Mark 11, beginning of verse 22, it says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Have faith in God. I tell you the truth, you can say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. <laughs> this is a really tricky passage, and there have been many, many instances in history of uh, believers who have taken this passage and used it in an incorrect way, in a way to sort of say, hey, name it and claim it. And if you don't get what you're praying for, it's your fault because you don't have enough faith. You don't believe, you have doubt. And if you only have no doubt, then you can be instantly healed from your disease. You can have health and wealth and prosperity and everything will go your way and it'll be rose petals down the path. Now, obviously, that's not the case. We have difficult problems all the time, and we have prayers that we have been praying for diligently for years and years and have yet to see them fulfilled. So what is Jesus saying here? He's saying, first of all, we put our faith in God, not in ourselves. And then we pray according to what he wants. We want to pray in, um, in not a uh, rubbing the genie's magic lamp to get what we want. We want to pray in a way that honors God, in a way that is his desires. We want our desires to be in line with God's desires. Um, the The this passage, this is a, a much bigger conversation that would require a whole lot more um, looking at other verses and contexts, because we never want to read Scripture um, without an understanding and in the context of what all of Scripture says. So we want to cross-reference. We want to see where things are. We never pick things out of, out of context. That's when a verse like this can be abused. The basic principle, though, is God wants to answer our prayers. Jesus wants us to put our faith in him and to trust him to provide for each day's issues, each day's challenges. Bring your prayers to God, even the outrageous prayers that we put in his hands. But we want to trust him with the results and not hold him to some kind of a, uh, you owe me because this verse says that it's going to happen throwing this mountain into the sea. Well, is that part of God's will? It's not going to happen if it's not what God desires. But it's, I think the emphasis here is Jesus saying, anything is in God's ability to deal with. So bring your prayers as big as they may be to him and trust him. Let's pray. Father, this is a, a confusing passage at times, but I think the main thing you seem to want us to realize is that anything is within your power to do. So as we think about those mountains in front of us, those challenges that seem impossible, help us not to hold back, bringing them to you, giving them to you, and trusting that you are able to do far more exceedingly than we could ever even imagine. So help us to bring all of our needs to you, and put them in your lap and trust that you are going to meet those prayers just as you would have them be met. We thank you for your love and your all-powerful ability to meet our needs. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, Jesus said to the disciples, I have, have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen but you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. Put your faith in God. Bring your needs to him, no matter how big they may be. And trust that he will meet them according to his best for you. Uh, it's tricky and it's difficult. 
but we have a God who is able to do far more than we could ever imagine. So let's bring those needs to him. God bless. Have a great day.